Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Alchemy and today we are actually in Ableton. Ah, trader, blah, blah, blah. Okay, hold on, bear with me for a sec. So one of the biggest issues that I have had or biggest challenges that I've had with Ableton has been trying to find a right methodology of filtering because I'm accustomed to using EQs and sweeping and stuff. And while I think that the EQ from Ableton is fine and dandy, I can't, the, the lack of control that I have to fight for is pretty dense. So if we take a look at this, uh, we can utilize placing this in different positions and whatnot. And usually if you've seen any of my base tutorials for filtering and whatnot, I like to shape a vowel or something and then utilize this all together, kind of like that. Unfortunately, there's not really a simple way to do this until now anyways, but I am going to kind of relay how to fix this issue. Uh, another cool thing about the EQ8 that is kind of unique that not a lot of other EP, parametric EQs have is the scaling. And the reason why this is important is because this can also help shape vowels in a means kind of like this. And so if you're doing a combination of both, then you can usually get some really cool sounds uh, from sweeping the filters in the low mids and stuff like that in the first place. So the first thing that we want to do is we actually want to utilize this and create some macros. And so this is the tedious part, but what I'm going to do is just turn all of these on. As you can see here, one through seven, maybe we'll turn this on as well. And now I'm going to go through each one and map them accordingly. So we go here, let me go map, click on this one. Do this, go map, same thing, three, map. Normally I would speed this up, but you guys know that I don't edit and I'm not going to. So we're just gonna kind of walk through this very quickly. And we go four, boom, map, five. Five is mapped, six, boom, map, seven, boom, map, eight, same thing, and map. Cool. So now that we have this, what is cool and also slightly frustrating is that we can utilize this to change the frequency range and we can't uh, do it this way, but we can move this up and down and change the resonance and whatnot. If you really wanted to, I suppose you can create more macros or something and utilize this. But my proposition is utilizing the new LFO feature of mod. Uh, and I guess one of the other issues that I had with this, and you're going to be like, well, Alchemy, why don't you just do this anyways, is because I'll show you. Check this out. If I go map, and then I map this to, let me grab another EQ, I'll show you, because this was the big issue that I was complaining and moaning about, was if I go like this and I go map, you see this move here, but the problem with this is that you don't see this being utilized. If you switch this over to remote, then you do. But the issue with that is that you have to find this range space about how all this stuff moves and how far this needs to go, which is really frustrating, especially when it comes into trying to make everything move together. So uh, thanks to Tendril for shouting this out. We're going to get kind of the best of both worlds, kind of not. But what we're going to do is instead we're going to hop into this and then we're going to map all of these kind of like so. And the reason why this is nice is because now all of these are actually going to move together. And what's cool about this is that because these are all aligned a little easier, kind of like so, this is all moving together. And so we can start to set these ranges here just from a single percentage of how far we want this to move along as opposed to having to min-max whatever is going on. And the reason why I like this too is because you can see that this is plus and minus. So now we've got something that is a lot more usable. So check this out. And then if I want to move the frequency over, then I can just do that. Whereas if you do the remap or the, the remote, you can't adjust this. So you have to literally do both the, the depth and whatnot with the frequency uh, within the LFO, which is really annoying. But again, thanks to Tendril for kind of pointing this out. So now... And so can you see how much more of a, you know, I mean, even if we were to do pitching, it's much more usable in this way in which to kind of, you know, uh, make cool effects out of. So here's the other thing is that we can actually duplicate this and we can either make this the same or not make it the same. It doesn't really matter. But one thing that might be worth doing is either A, creating more macros. So you can go plus, 
plus I think all the way to 16 yeah so you can have eight more macros if you want but I'm just gonna set this here just to for continuity sake but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the scale and then go map and now that this is mapped to the scale we can utilize another mod here to flip the scale so we uh, need to make sure that everything is nested. That's one of the most annoying things about Ableton is everything needs to be nested, nested, nested. But what we can do is utilize the scale here and then we can go map and then figure out how to map this because, hold on, let me get out of this. Escape, there we go. Let's try that, boom. And now we've got this depth here of being able to flip this. And so if we set this up to 50% or so, look how much more movement we have with the filtering. Bit much. And so now if we start utilizing this along with the other modulation stuff that we have, say like Roar or something else of the sort, then we can start to combine, you know, multiple sources of cool iterations of bass movement and whatnot in which to you know start to shape this reese and make it you know into something that would be more of in the neuro region but make sure that you save this i've actually already saved this in case if uh anybody's interested i'm working on like a really dense pack right now of i'll just pull it up for you so that way you can see what's going on but this is kind of something that's being incorporated within the new preset pack that i have for ableton it's basically like requiem or eternum or nocturne for bitwig but in an ableton version so if you look up these instrument racks we've got something kind of like cursed crystals um i think that was the most recent one that i did but what you will see as soon as this is done pulling up is that we have stuff that's bass stuff that's percussion pads so check this out <laughs> percussion pads different atmospheres we've got three different options so and what's really cool is that because of Ableton snapshots we can kind of morph in between all this stuff so check this out Cool stuff. So as you can see, there's a lot to do with that. But anyways, this was why I've been so adamant about figuring this out. And I'm going to be including uh, this rack or one just like it anyways, in the same sense. So if we look at our effect racks here, I should have miscellaneous. Then we have easy filter, I think. Lazy neural rack. I don't remember which one it is. It's one of these though. There we go. You can see here though, it's pretty much the same thing, same setup. And so you can adjust this how you want to and then go back and just twist the gain on whatever it is that you want to utilize. Um, and yeah, hopefully that will be something that you'll be able to kind of control a little bit easier as this is kind of nice and randomizes things. But anyways, I kind of wanted to walk through that because I, that was a major, major complaint that I had with the new update of Ableton 12, that there still was not a solution. Uh, I'm a little bit ashamed that I couldn't and did not figure that out by myself. So shout out to Tendril. You know who you are within the the comment section as a viewer i appreciate you helping me out on that one to combine our forces and figure out how to create a rack that is going to be suitable for everybody thanks guys i appreciate it and um, i'll see y'all later um i don't know I'll, I'll make an announcement when the pack is ready but if you have bitwig or faceplant i've already got stuff like that available bye everyone